I Was a Teenage Werewolf, 1957, directed by Gene Fowler Jr., starring Michael Landon, Yvonne Lyme, and Whit Bissell. A rebellious teen reluctantly agrees to see a hypnotherapist whose covert experiments are actually turning him into a bloodthirsty werewolf. This has been the most requested film on my channel so far. Thanks for the suggestions. What's interesting about this film is the fact that this is a scientifically induced werewolf, as opposed to the traditional bite from another werewolf. As such, the normal rules do not apply to him. No full moon required, just loud noise. The creature makeup, handled by Philip Shear, is a great 50s take on the iconic monster. Amazing what having more time to work on the makeup can do. Tony is one of the most unintentionally funny lead characters I've seen in a long time. He's so rebellious that he throws milk in a fit of rage. Ooh. There's an entire town of memorable characters as well, including Tony's concerned girlfriend, the unscrupulous Dr. Brandon, and Pepe, the superstitious Romanian janitor that warns that the police are dealing with a werewolf. There's an impromptu rock and roll number at about 17 minutes in, sung by a member of Tony's crew, adding to the film's undeniable charm and character. This film features one of my new favorite randomly specific lines, in which another member of Tony's crew tells him that he's going to take a shortcut through the woods to get home from the party as if he was unknowingly ringing a proverbial dinner bell for our werewolf to be. The success of this film would help greenlight I Was a Teenage Frankenstein, another film that I've reviewed featuring Whit Bissell. This one was a lot of fun though, going on to be a certified cult classic. Verdict? Highly recommended. Be sure to wolf this one down. That concludes this week's review. If there's any obscure sci-fi or horror film you'd like to suggest, Feel free to leave a comment below. Make sure to tune in next time for another thrilling low-budget adventure.